question is, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rumble? Yeah. Let's begin the action within the ring. Pressing fighting out of that red corner, the Wacko Pro European Champion from Liverpool, raise the roof for Neil Woods. <laughs> and his opponent prepared to do battle to the end to claim the title of the K-1 from Wellington. From Wigan out of the Beastmasters gym, please welcome the WKA Super Welterweight Tie Champion. Give it up for Kevin Hopper. <laughs> Stand by for action within the ring. So we have the K1 UK Max eight-man tournament final. The two men that have finally made it. In the red corner, Neil Wood. In the blue corner, Kevin Harper. Neil Wood conquered Neil Jukes and Daniel Hudson to get here. Kevin Harper beat Eval Denton and John Hale to get here. Now they are the last two men standing, and one of them will be the K1 champion. I'm happy to have Howard Hughes with me again. Howard. A rightful final looking at the rounds, and I think it's going to be a cracking final as well. It certainly is. Two enviable fighters here to fight for the K1 Max. Yes, just a quick recap for okay. you. Neil Woods from Paul Walk away with the title K1 champion for the UK. Seconds out. Round one. Neil Woods storming out there. Straight at Kevin Harper, taking the fight to him with those body punches that have impressed us right throughout this K1 tournament, Howard. That's it. They've got nothing to lose now. And a superb kick took Kevin off his feet. An awesome start from Neil Woods. Again, I think he's stronger than Kevin Harper, but Kevin Harper's going to be just as technical and as good as a fighter as Neil. Is there a danger that if Neil keeps up this pace, he might blow himself out because Kevin's very cool customer. I can't see him stopping him this early. Who knows in this K1 Max final? Obviously, that's what Neil's game plan is, to take Kevin out early. Yes, he certainly has. He's come out fighting good boxing technique. He shortened in his punches from the semi-final, and he combined it with that beautiful low kick that took Kevin off his feet. He saw that one coming. He hasn't really had time to work his way in, Kevin. That's right. Neil's taken Kevin by surprise, I think, with the ferocity and the speed that he's come out in this opening round. Yes, backing his man up again. Kevin's starting to get in now, starting to throw his own punches. But as we said, right from the start of this elimination tournament, very strong and big at the, the, the weights, Neil Woods, and he's showing it now. He's working those legs, as you can see. Kevin Harper now has a, a bandage on his left leg. That means there's some damage there, so Neil is taking full advantage and trying to hack away at those legs of Kevin Harper. That's right, just to remind you, this is the third fight for both men. They both had their stoppages, but they haven't been easy fights. And now it's going to be tough for both of them because from the draw, I think the right two men are in this final. They've both fought twice already tonight. Who knows how much that has taken out of them so far. They both look good so far, though. Yes, Kevin's starting to stand his ground and get his own punches going now. But immediately Neil comes back, and his game plan is to work high with those hands and bring those legs in underneath, isn't it? It definitely is. He's got a good game plan. It's working for him so far. Kevin's a very tough opponent. He's the Wacker Pro World Champion. He's not going to go out without a fight. No, and he's got a nice combination himself with the punches. But he's taken a lot of those leg shots early in this fight. How much will that take its toll over the next two rounds, Howard? Without a doubt, it's definitely going to take its toll. Kevin needs to block some of those kicks. Oh, both loading up now. Oh, good shot there from Neil Woods. They haven't taken time to settle in, that's for sure, Howard. That's right. Excellent, explosive round to start this K1 Max final. I think Kevin realised he needed to assert a bit of authority because all the early part of the round was Neil Woods, and Kevin's just saying to him, hey, I'm here. Good body shots from him. But Woods again final. working the hands high and then bringing those low kicks in underneath. They can't keep up this pace for three rounds. Something's going to have to give. 
Yes, Kevin still looks cool, but he's taken more punishment oh, in that yeah, first yeah, round yeah. than possibly the whole last semi-final fight. That's a 50-50 one on my scorecards, though. I can't really separate these two fighters yet. Yes, yeah, Neil had the early yeah, part of the round, but Kevin right, came back please, strongly, didn't he? He did, yes. An even round for both fighters. Yes, here's where Neil sets out his stall. He works those punches in and then brings the kick in underneath. And again, good scoring kick to the leg, but he took the right hand in return, and that's what it's been, hasn't it? Both men are willing to take to land their own work. So please, take your seats. These two, rightly so, will be deserving of this field final. Corners, 10 seconds. So here we go, round two. Howard couldn't split them after the first round. It's been that Set good. Out. Round two. Neil Woods shocked us with the ferocity of his start. But surely, as you said last round, Howard, he can't keep this sort of pace up. Or well, can depends he? How hard he? Well, depends how hard he's been training. He says he's been training three, four times a day, six days a week. Let's see what he's got in the tank. Yes, there's a certain prestige to the K1s that these fighters take on board, isn't there? The winner of this K1. Oh! That's not a sight I thought you'd see, Howard. A legitimate leg kick. Kevin went down. You don't see that often. Referee didn't score it as a knockdown. But that would have still given Neil Woods so much confidence. He's taking it high, he's taking it low. And it's certainly working for him. For him. Kevin's got to step up the pace to match him now. And again, he felt that low kick. They're working, Howard. He's trying to disguise it, but it really is working for him. He has that support on Kevin's left leg, and Neil is going for it all the time. Yes, Kevin Harpo's face won't betray much, but it's betrayed emotion a couple of times in this round. Getting his own kicks going now, he's loading up. But again, the left giving him so many problems. And this is the excitement of the K1. Those previous two fights have taken their toll. And Woods is exploiting it to the maximum. Neil is coming out even stronger than he did in the first round, which has surprised even me and Kevin, probably. Now, no disrespect to Neil if he wins this, which is quite possible. Would it be a real upset in your eyes? He's one of my favorites. He's one of my favorite fighters, Neil Woods, but I didn't expect him to, to beat Kevin in the final. So hats off to Neil Woods. Yes, at the moment, all types of pressure bearing down on Kevin Harper. He's a tough man, he's an experienced man. But for me, Woods' game plan has been superb. Kevin's still fighting on. He's not going to give up this K1 Max title belt without a challenge. Yes, the leg goes in again, that low kick. Takes a deep breath and fires away. And he may be feeling tired, but he finds the energy to do three, four, five technique combinations. And that's the difference between the two men at the moment, Howard. That's right. Neil Wood seems to come off the pressure just a little bit now. So, a fantastic fight for the final, as it should be. Neil Wood surprising us all with the intensity and the way he's keeping up this pressure. And Kevin Harper goes to floor again, a sight you do not often see. Although not a knockdown, getting up off the floor each time takes a, an amazing amount of energy, and it's going to be zapping the energy of Kevin Harper. And psychologically, it must give Neil that incentive to keep the pressure on and to keep going, even if he's feeling tired. Got to give this round to Neil Wood so far for just the, the forward pressure that he's applying to Kevin Harper. I think his game plan's been so simple but effective. Hey, Three very good punches. Well, well, brings the hands up and crashes the leg kick in. Round two to Neil Woods. So, two down, one to go. One drawn, one to Neil Woods. It can't get closer than this. Two fantastic rounds. Keith looks happy in there, but... It's been Woods round in a big way, as you said, and he counters so well. One technique gets four back. The odd counter attack from, from Kevin Harper, but 95% of the work coming from Neil Woods in that round. And a perfect example there with the knockdown. It was a legitimate knockdown. The punches worked high, and the leg came in below. Strong and hard. It's go for gold time now for Neil Woods. 
He's on the edge of winning the first K1 Max UK final. Yes, real prestige if he can do it. The way, if he's got... Corners, is it really a matchup where he's got enough in the tank there? He's expended so much energy. Ladies and gentlemen, your support for the two warriors. As you saw there, he's really hurt, it. Kevin. Seconds out. If he's got it in the tank, he can take Who this gun in. Who will be K1 champion? The next three minutes will tell. Seconds out. Round three. So there's the question. Has Neil Woods got enough left to keep this assault up and keep the relentless pressure that he's poured on Kevin Harper for two rounds? If he can, the K1 title is in sight. And he goes down. That's it. The look on Kevin's face said it all. I don't think he'll get up from this one. It could all be over for Kevin Harper. He can't. He's shaking his head. It's over. Neil Let's Woods see. has done it. New mm. champion, Neil for the cow bomb camp. What an upset. Can we calm down the ringside just for a moment? Excellent victory at this point. I'd like to ask for Mr. Paul Hennessy and Jack O'Alley to enter ringside. And of course, the representative of the Thai Edge group of restaurants, Mr. Harris. So, could Harris please enter ringside along with Jacko Alley, promoter and co-promoter, Mr. Paul Hennessy, and of course a representative, Harris yes, from mate. the Thai Edge Group of Restaurants. I can't because um, when all you hear is Phil, we can't hear each other when Phil's talking all the time. Been on the cards with these low leg kicks so happening. Kevin trying to fight before back. We read out the announcement. Please, two gallant worthy opponents who made it to the final. Give it up, please, for two warriors in the ring, both Neil Woods and Kevin Harper. See what I mean? But the awesome warrior who takes the coveted title of the K1 champion for the UK. The man from Liverpool, please make some noise for Neil Woods. <laughs> Being presented with the trophy, Harris from the Thai Edge Group of Restaurants. But let's not forget a awesome battle with an awesome opponent. Give it up for K1. 